carbohydrates in this module you will learn about carbohydrates we eat a variety of foods such as fruits table sugar and milk that have some sweetness in their taste the sweetness of these foods is due to the presence of certain sugars in them these sugars are one of the types of compounds called carbohydrates carbohydrates are the biomolecules which are primarily produced by plants if the carbohydrates are sweet in taste they are considered as sugars while the others are considered as non sugars now let us learn about the structures of carbohydrates for this let us consider the structures of two simple carbohydrates glucose and fructose as you can see these carbohydrates consist of three main elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen due to the presence of these elements earlier carbohydrates were given a general formula of cx h2o y therefore they were considered as the hydrates of carbon however later it was known that many carbohydrates such as rhamnose c6h12o5 and deoxyribose c5h10o4 did not fit in this general formula also some other compounds that are not carbohydrates could fit in this general formula for example acetic acid ch3cooh could be written as c2h2o and formaldehyde hcho could be written as ch2o so to overcome these confusions carbohydrates were then defined on the basis of some other common characteristics let us know about these common characteristics of carbohydrates one by one for that we have to get back to the structure of glucose and fructose again a glucose molecule as you can see has two functional groups it has one aldehyde group attached to the first carbon and five hydroxyl groups attached to the rest of the five carbon atoms similarly a fructose molecule also has two functional groups it has one ketone group attached to the second carbon and five hydroxyl groups attached to the rest of the five carbon atoms just like glucose and fructose all other simple carbohydrates have two types of functional groups in their molecules the hydroxyl groups and a carbonyl group that is an aldehyde group or a ketone group other than the simple carbohydrates there are many complex carbohydrates as well complex carbohydrates are formed when many simple carbohydrates combine together therefore when these complex carbohydrates are hydrolyzed they break down and give their constituent simpler carbohydrate units back now other than the similarity in their structure carbohydrates also show optical activity Optical activity means that when a plane polarized light passes through the solution of a carbohydrate the plane of light rotates through a certain angle based on these similar characteristics carbohydrates are defined as the optically active polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or the compounds which give such units on their hydrolysis now based on the products given out during their hydrolysis Carbohydrates can be classified as monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Let us study about these one by one. Monosaccharides are the simplest form of carbohydrates. They cannot be hydrolyzed into simpler compounds. Some common examples of monosaccharides are glucose, fructose, galactose and ribose. Oligosaccharides are the carbohydrates which gave 2 to 10 monosaccharide molecules on their hydrolysis some examples of oligosaccharides are sucrose and lactose polysaccharides are the carbohydrates which contain a large number of monosaccharides this means a large number of monosaccharides are obtained from the hydrolysis of polysaccharides some common examples of polysaccharides are starch cellulose and glycogen Monosaccharides can be further classified depending upon the number of carbon atoms present in a monosaccharide. A triose has 3 carbon atoms 
a tetrose has four carbon atoms, a pentose has five carbon atoms, a hexose has six carbon atoms and so on. Other than this, monosaccharides can also be classified based on whether they contain an aldehyde group or a ketone group. Monosaccharides that contain an aldehyde group are called aldoses, while the ones which contain a ketone group are called ketoses. Therefore, if a carbohydrate contains six carbon atoms and an aldehyde group, it is called an aldohexose. Similarly, if a carbohydrate contains six carbon atoms and ketone group, it is called a ketohexose. Just like monosaccharides, we can also classify oligosaccharides depending upon the number of monosaccharides obtained on their hydrolysis. These include disaccharides that give two monosaccharides, trisaccharides that give three monosaccharides, tetrasaccharides that give four monosaccharides and so on. The most common of these are the disaccharides. The two monosaccharides obtained from the hydrolysis of a disaccharide can be same or different. Carbohydrates can also be classified into reducing and non-reducing sugars depending upon their ability to reduce Tolan's reagent and filling solution. Reducing sugars are the carbohydrates that are able to reduce Tolan's reagent and felling solution. For example, glucose. These carbohydrates contain a free aldehyde group or a ketone group in their structure. Non-reducing sugars are the carbohydrates that are not able to reduce Tolan's reagent and felling solution. For example, sucrose. These carbohydrates do not contain free aldehyde or ketone groups. After studying about the structures and classification of carbohydrates, let us learn about some important uses of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, as we already know, are an important part of our diet. They give us energy to perform all the activities. Similar to humans, carbohydrates are also essential for plants and animals. Carbohydrates are used as reserved food materials in the form of glycogen in animals and as starch in plants. Carbohydrates also form the structural materials for cells. For example, the cell wall of plants consists of cellulose, a complex carbohydrate. Other than that, the two simple carbohydrates, 2-deoxy-D-ribose and D-ribose are present as the main constituents of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. Let's recap. Carbohydrates are optically active polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or the compounds which give such units on hydrolysis. Based on the product of their hydrolysis, carbohydrates are classified as monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Carbohydrates can also be classified as reducing and non-reducing sugars. Carbohydrates are essential for all living organisms.